What is going on everyone, Gaston right here and I'm actually in London, UK and today I'm gonna show you how I packed a mini version of my studio in just one backpack. The video that you're seeing right now is coming from my iPhone 11 Pro Max. So we're also testing low light performance of this phone, let's get started. Well, this is the backpack that I actually took to the strip. It's actually a backpack that came with my motorized lighter. This is the iFootage, but it was actually perfect for the strip and I just packed it in there. So as you guys can see, I have two tripods. It is carbon fiber tripod. It is super, super light. It actually gives me good results, really pocketable. So I'm gonna be using these to actually hold the phone. So this was also inside the backpack. So one of the things that I do always is I have one of these big design brackets because I'm gonna use this to hold my camera as I'm shooting. I have a layer of diffusion for my newer. This is a beauty dish and it's actually really, really nice. So you have your uh, Boeing's mount right here. Uh, this is actually the beauty dish part and it has some rods and it opens. It's actually a really nice size. I've done a couple of photo shoots with this and I'm really happy with it. RX100 Mark 7. Now I bring these two things everywhere I go with this tiny microphone. So probably I'm gonna be shooting the uh, photo shoot and do behind the scenes for, for the channel, for YouTube. And this camera is really, really good. So I put this bracket because it allows me to mount a microphone there or a little light or whatever I want. And I also have this little proprietary tripod that connects via a mini USB and you can actually control the camera from here and also zoom in, so really handy. This is um, the smallest gimbal that I own and it's really practical. It works really, really good with the RX100 and also I bring it everywhere I go from now on. Over here, I have my Sony 7R3. So the Sony 7R3, I have the lens actually mounted on the camera. This is the uh, 24 to 70 millimeter f2.8 and I remove the lens hood to actually be able to put in, you know, in that tiny spot right there. And it fits really, really nice. So, you know, here I'm actually covering my wide angle, you know, uh, focal length in my kind of like telephoto seven millimeters, 2.8. So this one, obviously I bring it everywhere I go. Okay, so I have right here the Osmo Pocket. I use it all the time. I like to have backup and this one stabilizes really, really nice. I can always connect the microphone to this one too with the adapter, so this one always comes with me. Over here, we have a little uh, mounting bracket that comes with the Godox 8200. The reason why I like it is because it's really small. One of the flashes, one of the strobes is gonna be using this tiny one. So these are the 8200 Pro. These lights are really nice, I love them. I even use them at the studio, you know, and I bring two because I can always have two lights combined and get 400 watts of power or I can use one light with a gel, like I'm probably gonna plan to do uh, in this photo shoot that I have tomorrow, and the other one uses as the main light. And over here are the two heads, as you can see, so. I also bring the naked bulb, and the naked bulb, I actually bring it here padded. I have a soft box that mounts directly to the, uh, to the naked bulb, and I have it with some uh, bubble wrap so it doesn't crack. Now this is an ND filter system that actually goes on the sensor. I have like about four in here, you know, different density. And I can actually mount this on the sensor of the 7R3. It's very simple. You just pop it in front of the sensor. And voila, now you have an ND filter right in front of the sensor. So put whatever lens you want and you're gonna get the same level of ND, you know, neutral density in your camera. We got plenty of memories, okay? You can go out without memory. You never know what's gonna happen. So, you got memories right there. I'll bring four, then I have fast speed on the 7R3 and also on the RX100. Microphone, so I have the system, the row system. These are the, um, the wireless go, really nice. So one is the transmitter and the other one is the receiver, as you see right there. And also I have a lavalier microphone that I can plug in right here because you can also use this microphone that's built in there, but you know, if I'm gonna be doing a video, it's kind of bulky having this on your shirt hanging, so the microphone is inside. And it has a cable to attach it to the camera. So microphone, lavalier, wireless solution right there. This is a spare battery for the 8200. Now, as you can see, every 8200 has its own battery. There you go. But I have one uh, spare one. So I also have this adapter, you know, uh, for the 8200, it has barn doors. And at the same time, it's, it is a magnetic uh, gel system. And as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, blue, red, yellow, and green. And they simply attach magnetically. 
and it also has a honeycomb grid right there. So this is really good if I want to, you know, use uh, a side light or something like that or a hair light. Right here, I have one of my favorite lenses. This is the Sony 10 to 18 millimeters constant aperture of f4. This one is an APS-C lens, but I have the 7R3, which has 42 megapixels, and I believe it gives me about. Uh, 20 megapixels or 18 megapixels image in crap mode. So now with the Sonar 4, I'm actually gonna get 26. So that's gonna be super, super good. So bringing this super and compact lens, I can get super wide angle shots. Because I'm also gonna be doing uh, something at a studio, I brought my light meter here. This is a Seconic, super simple one, you know, super light. That's the job and it comes with me everywhere I go. So this light right here is the Q. This one is super bright, it has 10, um, stop of intensity or 10 levels of intensity. It also, you know, super compact. It has a built-in battery. It lasts very, very long. And the good thing about this one is that I have it with this adapter that you see right here, this flange. It allows me to actually mount also gels or diffusion uh, domes. Let me show you right now. So these are the diffusion layers and the, uh, the gels. You know, it attaches magnetically. So now we have a red line blue light they're really nice because all the uh the gels actually stack up and now this is how it looks with a dome and it can give you a much more diffuse light i actually bought four because they have different also levels of diffusion and this one is the one that i like the most now this is also an nd filter system but this one is for the rx 100 and the way that this one works is very very cool you actually mount this one which is the uh and the filter adapter magnetically. So I have polarizer, I have neutral density lenses, and also I have a variable and the filter as well. There you go. Whenever, you know, I wanna remove it, I can simply remove everything like this and the camera's back to normal. Also the adapter has a cap, so you know, you can have a cap on when you're not using any ND filter. Now, right over here, we have one of the most important pieces after the cameras and probably the lights. This is the 85 millimeters F1.8 Sony lens, super compact lens. Look at the size of this lens. Now it is a telephoto lens. It's super light, really easy to pack and incredibly sharp. You know, it is probably as sharp as my 85 millimeter. Now the 85 millimeter is F1.4 and it is a lot heavier than this one, but you know, F1.8, pretty close, pretty light, and this is the one I take. Every time I go and bring lights, of course, you know, I have to bring a uh, trigger, but I don't bring one trigger, I bring two triggers. Why is that? Because it happened to me that one, uh, one time one of these uh, triggers fell on me. So now if I have one that fell, I have backup. This is my backup solution uh, in case my lavalier doesn't work or stop working, you know. And this one is the Movo. This one actually has better sound than the Rode. It has um, a little more bass on the voice and it just sounds a little bit better overall. Now, right over here, I have my charger. I actually found this one on Amazon. This is for the MacBook Pro uh, 13. Uh, that's the one I bring every time I travel. I have the 15, but the 13 is a little bit smaller, easier to carry. And this one, it is also way smaller than the one that comes with a Max. You know, bring the computer. This is what I use if I'm doing, you know, some heavy work um, outside Photoshop. I like to move fast. So I bring my trackball everywhere I go with me. And right at the bottom, the tripod of my Zhiyun Crane M2. This one goes right there like so. And you can actually, you know, have her stand or, you know, extend the range of the grip. So now let's move on to the actual lid of the backpack. The first thing that this thing came with is actually a rain cover. This is very useful because if you're gonna be walking around and it starts raining and you have your gear, you know, all exposed, you can cover the entire backpack right away. And this layer, I have the adapter for the Mac. You know, this one actually plugs on the side. It doesn't have any cable dangling and uh, it allows me to plug more stuff. It also has two USB-C, so it bypasses two USB-C ports. So really, really nice. All right, right over here is a piece of equipment that I need to have every time I go anywhere. So I like to have double backup of all my footage. So this two uh, solid state, uh, it's one terabyte H, I believe. Um, they actually do a really nice job. And then I have, you know, a bunch of batteries for the remote triggers for the, the Godox lights and I have cables over here and a bunch of other stuff. I was holding the phone with this tripod right there 
and this is the bracket that was actually holding the iPhone. This is the tripod. It is super slim. It's carbon fiber. Now it's not the sturdiest thing out there, but it actually does the job and the legs can actually open even more so you get even more support. I have my carry-on and one of the things that I try to do is I try to pack one half all my clothes and always have my other half, you know, available space for more stuff. So as you can see over here, I have this tripod, you know, that I'm gonna be using probably on my RX100 while I'm filming. And I also have another uh, softbox right here. And let me show you this one. Compare this one right next to the other one. Yes, it is a little bit smaller, but you know, if I'm gonna have this light probably working at a different ratio, I can always put this one on one side and that one kind of like a 40, 45 degrees, you know, up down and still get two softboxes. Now this is gonna be very, very useful because these lights, the way they mount, they actually go through that cavity and then you press them with this little um, wheel right here. So then you can actually mount this in your Bowens mount and then the tripod right there. Now this one I don't have to worry because it plugs right into the bulb. All right guys, so this is the end of the video. And remember, the entire video was shot in my bedroom with no other light than those uh, night lights that you see right there and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, the low light capabilities of this phone blew my mind. And this is the first time that I'm actually using the phone uh, to film a video because I never actually trusted the iPhone to do low light videos, especially with a front camera like I'm doing right now. So impressive. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what do you bring when you actually travel abroad, you know, for photo shoots and stuff like that. Do you carry this much of gear or you're one of those that carry even more gear and check them out. I myself don't like to check out my gear. I already have problems one time and I said never again, you know. In the event that I need more and heavier uh, arsenal, probably I either rent it or I ship it directly with insurance. So everything that I brought today came on my backpack and some of the accessories and little things came in some space that I have left over in my carry-on. So guys, I hope you had enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel and drop a comment down below. Let me know what do you care. Take care.